Hello Mac and Tutorial users, today I'm going to be counting down the top 10 best programs for your PC or laptop. At the top, I think, number one has to be CCleaner. Um, it's really basic and simple to use, and what it basically does is it cleans out your, um, your temporary files, your cookies, your history, and your registry. So simply you just press Analyze, they're the things that need to be deleted, Run Cleaner, OK, done. And your registry, same, just scan for issues. Um, you can see at the top it's just scanning through all the computer stuff like MUI cache, ActiveX, type libraries, application font, stuff like that. And um, that stuff might get in the way or change the codes and then it will fix them by just simply clicking fix selected issues. So I haven't got any issues. So yeah, that's definitely a good program for you to use your computer a lot. My second favourite program has to be any video converter. Um, because I use Cam Studio Video Recorder, that one, um, it's a .avi video recorder, so this is great to convert it to MPG, which is a more compressed video file, so I can upload it to YouTube. So that's a really, really good program. Okay, sorry about those pop-ups. The next one is Spotify. Now, although this is no longer a free program, I've got a way to um, get it free to you, so I'll make a video on that. So that's really good. Everyone knows what that is, just music. Cam Studio, I can't open this because it's the one I'm using at the moment. It's a brilliant, brilliant recorder. It's completely free and it's so good. It's, it's the best I've come across. But you do also need to download any video converter. I mentioned that earlier. Um, my next best one is WinRAR. Now this is kind of essential for you to have really. Um, yeah, you can unzip .raw files and stuff. And the thing about this is, it says it's not free. But you can just close the box and continue using it. I've had this about a year and it keeps coming up saying you have had it more for more than 40 days. Um, this next bit is not free software, but again, I have a way to make it free, which I'll make a video on. Photoshop CS4. Very good if you're um, a, a designer or something like that. And I made my logo in it, just a very simple logo. So if you'd like to check that out, that's some of the basic stuff you can do. Next one, just a bit of fun really, is powder. Now, powder is supposed to be a physics game, but there are ways to make it really, really fun, like this. You just go, let me just open stuff I've done. Hmm, don't think I've got anything. But yeah, basically, um, make a little container like that. Put a bit of lava in it or something. Add some nitroglycerin. Boom. Yeah, you can do all sorts, and then you can clone the fire like that. Really, really good. I would definitely recommend that. My... Um, my next one is Windows Movie Maker. Now, although most Windows computers have this, it is actually compatible with Mac um, if you get the right website, and I'll post that website in the comments box. So, yeah, that's almost essential to have, because the Mac one, which I think is iDVD, is, or something like that, is completely rubbish. Uh, my next one, which most computers have in some form, is WordPad. Now, I like this because it is kind of like Notepad, but not as complicated as Word. So you can, um, in most of my tutorials, I use this. So if you've got it, hunt it down on your computer or whatever. It's really, really good. And finally, Snipping Tool. Not all computers have this, but I'm sure you can download it. Snipping Tool lets you snip things. So if I want to snip that there, it saves it for me. And then I can rub bits out and stuff and pen over them or blue ink and stuff so that is really really good so yeah that's the top 10 best programs in my opinion so um i'll type a few of them in the com um, in the comments box and the uh um information box but yeah just get downloading thanks